between private and NHS. <laughs> Had it been the shirt off his back, it might have been ironic, but it was just a pair of trousers. But nevertheless, I do appreciate that. Um, basically, you head down the lane of irresponsibility, turn left onto the empathy bypass, and the impulse control traffic lights, take the moral right, Avoiding the cul-de-sac of pathological narcissism, right in front of you, you should find the road to psychopathy. Flight. <laughs> and please sign the disclaimer before you board the plane. Good night. Have a wonderful evening. Have a lively weekend. Thank you. When I started in practice three decades ago, um, the necessary attributes to be a private GP were availability, affability, and ability in that order. And probably most of us have been bored of being told that. Not only are they maybe not big enough or small enough, but of course, people's anatomy varies enormously, so they may not be the right shape. Of course, you do have to wait for them. You can't just get them straight away, and they cost a little bit more. Primary scores on the SF36 over 20 procedures that we were doing. Some of you will be pleased to see that total hip replacement gets the highest gain from the no chain. The uh, mental, the psychological scores, hysterectomy, I think, wins. Um, so the, the women have by far and away the highest psychological score after the hysterectomy, physical scores. It's an indication for tamoxifen therapy. But because of the complexity of internal mechanisms of the cell, just because you've got a receptor doesn't mean to say it's going to work. because another pathway in the cell may actually take over from the damaged pathway um, that you're going to use to advertise myself. But <laughs> <laughs> originally, provided you were able, affable, and affordable, and by affordable I mean not too cheap, because if you're too cheap, people don't think you're any good, that was the key to a successful private practice. than just grateful, they're very, very appreciative. Surgeons here who spent 16 years in training and don't inject. Um, don't worry, I mean, yes. we are, uh, as soon as we link, uh, release the quality mark and yes. get people yes. um, subscribing to and those people with half a day's training yes. are not going to get the quality mark. So it's hopefully the public will vote with their feet and not go to those substandards. The concept of quality life 
as we have emerged in the last 10 years. Use some drugs, growth, intravenous. Um, this, this, um, yeah, we are recording. Oh, sorry. The um, this, this is the patient who uh, is 55. Sorry, the sound is on. All right, just walk towards me. That's fine. Thank you. And, um, oh yes, that's lovely. Thank you. Very much. Sorry. <laughs> used to just want pain relief and walk around. Now they want to do all these various things. Not particularly in that order. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Could we intentionally make a hole in something, close the hole off, get to the organ, get to the bit you want to do, remove it, take it out, someone wakes up, the recovery is from the wound, there is no wound, so you off you go on the day of the procedure. You opened up a whole new area of brain function. Much as I would like to have collected his prize, I'm afraid I'm now 105 years out of date. <laughs> He became head of the physiology department in the new Institute of Experimental Medicine. If there are no ideas in our head, we shall not see the facts either. They will use CAM to make sure they can use conventional medicine. Sometimes they will use mind-body therapies to meditate through the adverse reactions they're getting. And a very interesting thing about the suicide rate of doctors and vets is that the gender ratio is reversed. In the general population, men are much more likely to end up killing themselves than women. But amongst doctors, it is female doctors that are more likely to end up killing themselves than male doctors. And amongst vets, the ratio is even more skewed in the direction towards women, to the extent that the suicide rate amongst female vets is nine times the rate of the general population. And the secret to life, universe, and everything is to have the right balance of type 1 and type 2. Thank you very much. And the right balance of type 1 and type 2 is to come away on a weekend with the idea. Thank you very much. So the standard is recompensed from now north to south in 1123. And he dedicated the monastery to Our Lady of Bethlehem. And he drew the order of St. Jerome. And with Navigator you can see the 12 apostles. And this represents uh, so living buildings. Then you can see some shells, uh, not see the Now we are going inside. You can take pictures, but it doesn't work. Okay, so this one was built to represent a wedding and then a necklace we have about 32. Okay, you can see you have here a picture. Yeah. 